G'day everyone and welcome back. I'm on to the second week of the Margaret Miller Collage Challenge and the prompts for this one is your least favourite colour. I've already started off so I didn't have to wait for paint to dry. My least favourite colour is green. Um, go a figure. Uh, a sewing notion, something out of the recycle bin, a foreign language, a tea bag cover and a bonus is fibre yarn or string. So I started off thinking tea bag cover, and I'm I'm not a huge tea drinker, but I do have these um, tea bag covers from Japan, and it already has the foreign language on it. So that set me down the garden path. So I have um, opened it up. Then I thought, well, what am I going to get from the recycle bin? And I got a, I got a loo roll, so a toilet paper roll. And I thought, well, this will make a pocket. So that's the first thing that I'm going to do with this is glue it down and make a pocket from it. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to this. So this will be my um, focal piece as well the main piece that we, we see. So I'm gluing that to the front. And I'm going to spin it around. And glue it to the back. And then I'm going to seal off this end so that we've made a pocket out of toilet paper roll. So. Alright, so there we go. So that's that's our, our pocket made out of two of the props. Then I'm like, well, we're going to go down Japanese style and I've got to work my least favourite colours. So I went and cut some strips up of some Japanese pattern paper and some origami paper that I have. So I've just randomly cut strips and they've all kind of got green within it. So that was kind of where I was going with that. And what I'm going to do is I am going to just lay it down. Now I'm not going to tear any of this, I'm going to keep quite the, the um, idea of um, straight lines. I know, go figure. We teared in the last one and I'm going to straight line it in this one and I'm just going to layer them up in an abstract kind of way so that um, <clears throat> we can then build from that. So I don't think you want to see me gluing all of these down. So I'm going to pause, glue them all down, and then come back to you. Okay, so I'm back, and I, this is how it looks. So I've just got lots of stripes going across. The next thing I'm going to do is a bit of stenciling, and I've got this um, Stamperia stencil. I imagine it's from um, the The Vagabond in Japan collection. And I've got some gold paint. And I'm going to stencil, probably badly. Where's my sponge? I know I had one out. Where did it end up? Is the question. Alright, oh, there it is. Okay. So another fact about me, if you're new here and um, don't know much about me, I, I am a high school teacher. Um, my main specialty is so the so sciences, so psychology, chemistry, biology, and then maths. <clears throat> but um, I also teach junior Japanese. So I, I do speak um, some basic conversational Japanese. Um, and 
my favourite colours are red and gold. So my house is, has got very much a, um, a Japanese inspired kind of decor to a certain extent. Um, but yeah, red and reds and golds are my favourite combination. Um, and I th and then I was like, I wonder why I hate green so much. And so green is the the complementary or the opposite colour on the colour wheel to red. So I wonder if that's why I um you know it's not my favourite colour. It's not that I dislike it. It's just you know it's not something I gravitate towards but yeah it was I was like oh I wonder if that could be the reason all right so let's see how badly I did this mm, not too bad it's there in a in a roundabout kind of fashion and then I'm going to come down this oh my gosh I'm gonna ah, didn't think of that. I should have come back the other way, shouldn't I? Going to come down this side with the script. And it, it, it must be, I, I, and it is, it's one of, because obviously I can read a Japanese and well a bit of it I don't know all the kanji but I can read the basic script is when it's put upside down because people are like I don't know what guy goes this looks good and I'm like no but then I think I put English upside down and sideways when I'm collaging and stuff and I'm like I don't, I don't know what it is even when I was putting the background papers in I was like making sure that the the script was the right way up and I'm like you got issues girl There we go. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Um, I'm just going to use this just to do a little bit of gold swiping. Why not? Just extend it out. That way we're kind of bringing balance to, to the page. Okay, I'm just going to let that dry, clean up my stencil, and then I'll be back. Okay, so this is dried. Let's finish it up. I'm going to add my little pocket. But before that, we need the sewing notion. And now this is a hexagon square that I have probably... I made a patchwork quilt, Japanese style, a very, very long time ago. So it took probably about 20 years ago. And I was like, I was going to make a pillowcase out of the scraps. And so I cut them all into hexagons and then I just didn't. So I figured I'm going to add a little bit of that. <clears throat> I'm going to add it down here. So this is actually my sewing. Go figure. I, I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big sewer. So um, this one's like quite... And I, I like the fact that I'm bringing in something that I've created at some point in my past. Um, I'll glue this pocket down. There we go. I've made a little tag to go in the pocket and I've used some string and a little tassel so that meets the bonus. So that will slip into the little pocket like that and there we go. But we need something up in this corner and for Christmas um, Angie when she gave us our gifts had folded up some origami paper into some origami stars and I think I want to add them. And again that's, that's a memory. Um, so I'm like, I like the fact, I like this collage, this, this collage has got a lot of personal meaning, um, which I think is, 
even better when we can do something like that. Right, and I'm like, um, no, I want it coming across. So I think kind of there, or maybe, maybe there. Oh, and throw my glue. Alright, so just to finish it off however, um, I want to add some gold splatters. I'm just going to take the tag out. Um, it just doesn't seem right without some gold splatters. So I've got my little goldy mix. I'm like, where did I put my water? Oh, there it is. I um, freshened up my water and I'm like, where did I put the jar? Right. Should I have put paper down underneath this? Yes. Luckily, everything acrylic wipes off everything. So, but I think that that is the completed page, um, and I like this one. It's a lot more. I think it's less busy than um, the one I did last week. So the one I did last week, try not to get it onto the gold splatters. Well, let's see how it goes, this one. Um, but it's funny, Africa, now I've got Japan. Um, it's like, okay. But yeah, so that is my um, week two of the Margaret Miller Collage Challenge. I hope you um, enjoyed it. Um, nice shorter video today for me. And um, I will see you in the next one. If you haven't already, please think about hitting the subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up. That would be great. And as always, remember, be kind, be strong, be a warrior. And I'll see you later. Bye.